Hello, it's Maureen Legas here with your 21 Days 2017 series, and today is day 13. Well, we're midway through the week, and we're talking about Playster this week, and today we're going to discuss the images that appear on the Playster site. So here's a look at my Playster site. These photos that slide through at the top, you can have up to five sliders. You can have one photo that doesn't slide just right there on your site. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about these images and where to find images, um, what size they need to be for the various sites. And uh, we're also going to talk about creating links. If you see my mouse, it is a little hand on here. So this is an actually, uh, the photo is a link. And how do we create links for those um, those images? All right, so when you're on your MyKW and you go to Technology, KW Websites, it's going to take you over to your agent site. Click to go to your site, and it'll take you over to your Playster setup. If you have multiple um, Playster websites, if you are a commercial or a luxury agent, you may have multiple sites. Um, then you can pick the site that you are uh, make sure to pick the site that you expect to be working on. So I'm going to click down here to edit the site and I'm going to select the site that um, I want to work on. I have a luxury site and I have a regular Playster site. All right, let me make this a little smaller so it fits in the window. Okay, so on the images it would be under Site Settings and then down here under Slideshow. And the thing about the slideshows um, there are a couple of slideshows that, um, let me see here, that come with your site. Interiors, it has five photos, a variety, luxury properties, mid-priced homes, and nature. And if you like one of these slideshows, you click to select it, and it'll show you all the photos that are part of that slideshow. And if there's a photo that you want to remove, you can click to delete that photo and then upload your own. So you can use some of them, but you don't have to necessarily use all of them. So coming back here on the slideshows, you can create multiple slideshows and decide which one you want to use. So this one I have Sarasota Bradenton. Some of these I create during classes, and so I don't necessarily use all of them. Sarasota, Florida is the one here that I've checked, and that's the one that I'm using. I can create seasonal slideshows with seasonal images and then uh, turn them on and off depending on the time of year. Um, so here is the slideshow that I'm using. I'm going to click to select, and it's going to show me the image. It's going to show if there's a caption under the image and then the link that it goes to and some of them don't have captions. I only have one with a caption, so I can show you what that looks like. So let's go back to the page. Here's the slideshow, and see here's the caption. The next picture has no caption. So you can decide whether to have captions or not. It um, highlights that area in a darker color and prints in white, but you don't necessarily have to have captions on your pictures. So if you want the caption, this is where you would put it in your slideshow. Then you would put a link for that picture. So in this case, let's go back to the slideshow. In this case, if I click this picture of the golf course, well, let's see, it takes me to the Lakewood Ranch page. And my Lakewood Ranch page is built, um, has information about Lakewood Ranch, and then also down here has some properties that are available in Lakewood Ranch. And so that took me to that page, the link from my slide, this link took me to that page. So how do I find what links that I want? Well, I would go to my web page and I would pick the communities. I'm going to look at all the communities. So when you set up your communities on your web page, you have various communities where you live. And let's say I wanted one of the pages to go to my Bradenton page. Then I would click Bradenton. It would take me to my Bradenton page where there are area listings about Bradenton. I could talk about Bradenton um, like I did on the Lakewood Ranch page. And then up at the top, I could take this link, copy it, and that becomes the link for the photo. So let's see, this one here is Lakewood Ranch. This one links to 
Bradenton. And so if someone clicks this, it takes them to the Bradenton pages. So you can put whatever you want on um, the photos. Let's say you wanted a seller photo. What's your home value? And then you can have it linked to your home value page that is on your website. So that there are different various things you can do with these pictures um, and link people to them. You can put a photo that says um, what's your home value. Click here and then um, have them click the photo and it would take them to, let's see if I have a home value page here, home value. And so it would take them to this page that I just created, which is actually just a form, what's your home worth? And they fill in the form and I could um, use this link at the top on a home value slide. So where do we find pictures? Well, there's different sites like 123RF royalty free where you can purchase photographs. And so if I click to see the pricing plans on this, this happens to be the one I use. There are monthly plans, five images for 39, 25 for 169, or you can purchase 40 credits for 39. So five images are 39 or 40 credits. Sometimes you could get six or seven images with the 40 credits. Um, and so that might be something to just on demand 40 credits, get the pictures that you need and then um, use them on your site. Okay. So how do you know how to size the pictures properly for your website? When you're over here on your Playster site and you're working with images, it'll say, please visit this help article for image resizing tips. So if we click this link, it will take you to this help article tips for resources for resizing and it talks about why you need to resize depending on the theme if you watch the video from a couple of days ago we talked about the different themes and the size of the images depending on the theme you have different size recommendations for your slideshow and so my, I use the Plymouth theme so they recommend that my pictures be 1600 pixels by 660 pixels and so you would look at this to decide what size you want your photographs and there are image cropping tools it talks about them here uh, this says Pixlr you can use for that um, to resize it shows you how to do that um, I use PicMonkey PicMonkey for resizing my images and um, that's an option too. I think it, it even the paid version is relatively inexpensive. You click to edit your picture or you can click to design your picture, do a custom design and it's 1600 by 660, which is the design that um, the size for my website. And then when you upload your picture, I click here on the butterfly to add my own I'll go get my picture and upload it and I make it fit into this location then it fits the size of my website okay so that's really let me see if there's anything else to talk about with the images then you want to make sure once you add everything that you save it and then those images will appear on your site again you'll be able to if you like create different uh, slideshows depending on um, you know the time of year or the type of market that you're appealing to and change out those slides um, the other thing that I would recommend is when you upload any pictures to your website you want to make sure to tag them properly so that um, Google when it reads the picture will know what the keyword tags are for that image tag them on your website before you upload them all right so I hope that helps we'll see you tomorrow we continue our Playster discussion through Saturday I hope you have a great day Thank you.